He spoke not one word fell to the ground. And the people were scared when they saw Samuel come through. Samuel, what, Samuel, what you doing here? What you doing here? We all right. We done pray. We done consecrate. Look, don't talk to me. You're not supposed to do a prophecy. The prophecy come. Who on? Looking at me. Just, I don't want to just turn this way. You know, we can pick up your spirit. We can pick it up. Amen. And so when Samuel moved through, through the city, the Lord had to give him a fake assignment so the people wouldn't be so scared so he can go do what God called him to do. When he went to anoint David as king, David was just a boy. Isn't it strange? We all know the story because we leaders that, you know, when he went for all the sons came before Samuel. And, you know, in that moment, Samuel didn't exactly know which one he was going to anoint. God had to reveal it to him. And then here comes the first son. He looked good. He was handsome. He had the statue. But that's what that's what we can't get caught what folks look like on the outside. And especially when we don't know their heart. It may look the part. It may dress the part. But there is nothing in them. Like good looking empty containers. Jesus. Can't cast out a cold. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. All those tongues. And ain't nothing moved. Oh my God. Jesus. All that speaking of the tongue. Amen. Nobody prophesied. Nobody interpreted. Because it was empty. So be careful, folks, with all the PhDs and MEDs behind me, whatever. Because I want to know, God, is is this the one? Right. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Is this the one? And Sam said to him, you know, uh, Jesse, do, do you have another? Oh, God. Yeah. He said, do you have another? And David came in. That's us, Jesus. But I like this part about David. The secret anointing of David when he came in. David was outside busy doing something. He was busy with the sheep. Here's how you're going to identify people that God about to move in the next room. They're already doing something. Jesus. They're not waiting to be licensed. Right, right. They're not waiting to be ordained. They are already busy. They was outside prophesying to those sheep doing what his dad told him to do and things of that nature. Amen. Picking up the, the, the poop or whatever, grooming or whatever, or everybody else was inside trying to be important. They didn't even know that it, what, what was going on in the inside. We're talking about ships. Talking about being connected. Amen. And the Bible said when, when David came before Samuel, then the Lord said, this is the one. But before I go there, I want to say this. If you want to know who's God moving through, watch what they're already doing. Amen. What was going on with Elisha when Elijah went by him, going out there with the oxen, working for who? His daddy. And he throws the cloak on him. Amen. Eli and Samuel. Amen. When Samuel heard the voice of the Lord the first three times, who did he run to? Eli. He was already serving who? His daddy. Well, let's go down to uh, David. Okay, well, when, 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 when David came, came in and just to show the other, other boys, they was out back tending to what? The sheep. Do you know all three of these boys was doing something already? For who? For their father. Amen. They were already serving. Probably where are you going with that? I'm going here. If you can't learn to serve under an earthly man, you can forget what your spiritual father has for you. Uh, If you can't serve under the earthly cover, I'm going to tell you, you're not getting around. You're going to have to put your D-O-N to some man and woman of God right here on earth. I know you call to the nation. I know you call to the city and all that. But you're going to have to put your due time under a man and a woman of God in order for what you have to be developed. Amen. In order for what you have to be passed on to somebody else. Amen. God don't want any more bastard children in the body of Christ. And people who just go out there, talking about they been sent and ain't, ain't, ain't submit under nobody. You can't check back where they been and where they come from. Amen. They're out there, you know, doing this artificial insemination. And notice with that, nothing is being produced. Go ahead. And you don't know who they father is. Where did you come from? Who did you serve? Well, God called me. Yes, he did. But you won't go any further than the God called. Nothing you put your hand to a prosper. Jesus. Who do you sow into? Yes. Your upline should be sowing into an upline. Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 And so the next move in the body of Christ, these folks already doing some stuff. They already serve it under their earthly leadership. Yes. I don't know if they like it or not. It really don't matter as long as you're doing with a spirit of excellency. Yes. When they were out there with the sheep, he didn't come and say, pick me, pick me. He literally didn't even know Elijah was going to walk by. He didn't say, well, he is. Amen. And when Samuel had not heard the word of God, the Bible said he, did, he didn't even know what the word of God was, but he heard the voice of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Yes. And Eli was like, this boy is hearing from the Lord. Yes. Well, you know, Samuel, if he called you again, just said, thy servant hear thee. He said that God said, Samuel, Samuel, a fourth time. He said, thy servant hear thee. 
Why? God said, because he don't do anything in the earth unauthorized. And you have to be a proven vessel of servant before you are sent. If you just went on somebody to get licensed because you feel God called you and you serve no time, I'm telling you as a prophet, tear up the license. Amen. Go back to them and serve them. Yes. Yes. At least for three years. Yes. When I'm already established, watch this. Close the church down. Yes. Close the church down. Because you won't go no further than, than that. And nothing that comes in is going to be productive. That's a promise. Because you didn't do it the right way. Am I talking to leaders? Yeah. You won't go global. Right. You won't be on TV and the world network, none of that. Yeah. Because you didn't serve right. Why are you thinking this season God is pulling back the cover on so many ministries? Uh, it didn't start out right. So then they don't want the prophets in their church. They do want to prophesy, you know, spouses and houses. Yeah. You call. Come on. When I see this over here, what you see? Because how do you see that? How do you say God is going to do a great thing in a man, amen, in this season when they're still in the time? Jesus. Well, probably, how come they ain't moving in, in, in my life? You don't, you don't need a prophet. The Bible says you curse with the curse. You want to hear from my mouth? Fine, you curse with the curse. Don't speak curse on me. Oh, no, Malachi. Bring the tithe to the storehouse. Whether it would meet in my house, it would improve me. God said improve him. You try to grow around God and go to the Chief Apostle. My, my, my. Give the time. He trusted you with that. If he can't trust you with 10% in finances, do you really think he better trust you with 500 flocks? My God. Come on, preacher. Talk it. Talk it. Talk it. Oh, God. 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 Oh,
Until then, you keep the oil of them. Jesus. Until you can talk to the prostitutes in the domain. Until you can stand up in the homosexual face and say, look, we love you, but we don't prove what you're doing. Saints, y'all better take position on this thing. We never have no faggots trying to lay hands on us in the place of worship. We ain't gonna have no sisters trying to lay hands on this part. Oh no, you better call it what it is. Because the Bible says in the last days, you'll be calling wrong, right, and right, wrong. You're gonna have to take a position. And yes, everybody ain't gonna like you. And then it's for God you live, and for God you die. The five-fold ministry are not motivational speakers. They are vessels in the body of Christ. We love what God loves and we hate what God hates. If you are pregnant with destiny by the Lord, then whatever you give birth to shall reproduce. Two men can reproduce. Two women can reproduce. Do you know that is a very designed by Satan to stop the church? When you get a fat spirit in the pool pit trying to preach to you? When you got a Holy Spirit trying to prophesy to you? Why? Because that is artificial insemination. You can't do anything or bless anything in my spirit that can't reproduce. That means before I die, everything in me should be emptied out to somebody else. And they should be able to go greater than where I've gone. They should do greater than what I have did. If they are doing the same level that you've done, you've done them a disservice. You have not been crushed. Jesus. So you don't go global nowhere. Oh. You don't go international nowhere. Jesus. Matter of fact, you don't want to go outside your four walls. Oh, Jesus. God is looking to reproduce himself. And he can't do it through a homosexual family. You can't take some of the books out the Bible. Yes. If we had gone through it, so do you. Right. If we had time.